Hey everyone, I have a fall clothing haul for you today and I think everything I'm going to show you today is from Target if I'm not mistaken. Some things I picked up in store or saw in store, some things I ordered online. Um, what's a really cool feature I wanted to tell you about before I forget, um, Target now has like if an item or at least on some of the items I've seen, if it's not in stock you can say email me and when it comes back in stock they'll let you know because I actually had that happen with something. So. Um, just have on a plain white t-shirt today and I'm going to start with these pants. Um, these are just some plain like cotton chino pants. They have them I think in three colors. I saw these in store. Uh, let's see what size are these. They looked really big. So I sized down to a six. Um, I'm typically a six or an eight in a pant, a four or six in a dress if that helps you. Um, I'm five five. And they have these couple pleats here, which I have to say, somebody with hips like me, I'm not usually a fan of pleats, but they definitely have very 90s retro vibe. I love seeing all these um, kind of higher waisted chino pants this year. You could probably tuck this in with like a really fitted tank top, but I just left it like this. And let me tell you why. So you can see they're pulling the button a little bit here. Um, and that's the thing with, I feel like, you know, sometimes a little bit cheaper made pants, which honestly though, they don't feel cheap. They just feel very comfortable. But the button sometimes, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna undo them here. I feel like the button is like a half inch too far this way. Like, see when I undo the button, like they don't pull at all. It's like when I have to pull this over, it's like the button's too far. See, here's the zipper. I don't know. I just feel like the button's a little too far over that way. I've found that in other pants before sometimes too. But anyway, these are super, super comfortable. Two pockets, slip pockets back here. Um, I mean, they seriously feel like pajamas. I can't get over how comfortable they are. These are rolled up how they come, but you can unroll them all the way. Um, I don't mind them this length with like flats like this, but if I wanted to wear like a sneaker, I'd probably roll them up one more to show a little bit more of my ankle, but they are just super, super comfortable. And I just really like this, you know, baggy, uh, cute style for fall. I know it's hard to tell in the mirror. This is the color of them. I mean, they're like a, uh, I don't know, mocha kind of brown color. And I feel like they're even washed out a little bit right here. So, um, really pretty. Again, I, like I said, I think they come in three colors. Oh, they actually match my nail polish right now. So again, I do like these. I would definitely size down because um, I just held them up to me in the store because I couldn't try them on. So I went online and ordered. The only thing that bothers me is this. And this may just be this specific pair too. I don't know if they're all like that. But. So another pair of pants are these joggers. I've actually had these for several weeks, but they have been sold out online ever since I got them. I saw them in store. Um, what made me get these is some of you may remember, um, well, actually, I don't think I... I don't know if I spoke about it. I might have put them in the like to know it app. I tried on a pair of joggers in Nordstrom for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. They had uh, green and black. I ended up uh, trying on the black because that's what they had in the store, but I ordered the green pair. They were such a Christmassy evergreen though. I didn't even try them on for you guys because I didn't like them. When I saw these at Target, I was like, oh, these are perfect, but again, they have been sold out ever since. Um, I believe these come in black as well, but these are great. This is what I was looking for. It's a great olive green. They have a tie waist. Um, I think they are, yeah, they're elastic right here. Um, I am wearing a small. They are slightly tight, but I'm sure they'll probably stretch out through the hips right here, but the medium was gonna be huge. Um, I love the length of them. I wanted to again show you them with flats so you could see where they hit on me. I'm 5'5". Five five. If you're much taller than me, they may be a little short for you depending on how you want to wear them. What I love about these is I feel like you can actually dress them up or down. You could wear these with sneakers, flats. You could wear them with a heel and a blazer uh, and look great too. But I really like these. Again, plain in the back, no pockets. They're like, um, I don't know, like a slick kind of almost satiny material. I'll show you up close here in a minute. The pocket placement sometimes on pants like this when it's like this can flare out a bit, especially if you have hips like I do, but 
I don't think it's too bad and depending on what I would wear it with, I don't know that you would notice it. Here are the material of the pants. Um, I just think they're so, so nice. They're exactly like what I wanted. Again, um, have nice cuff at the bottom. These are great and the color is perfect. All right, I actually didn't plan on showing you this shirt with these pants, but I just saw them sitting together next on the rack and I thought I would. Um, this is something I saw online. It is a lightweight flannel shirt and I really thought it was pretty online. When I got it in person, I was like, oh, I don't know if I love that. But when I put it on, I was like, okay, I do like it. It is several different shades of green and you could wear it open like this, kind of like a jacket right now. And that's why I love too, it being lightweight. But you could totally pair it with these pants if you want. You could throw on some sneakers or some flats and it actually doesn't look bad with these pants because it has this darker olive green stripe running through it. But the main thing is the shirt I wanted to show you. This is a small, I read the reviews and a lot of people said it was oversized and I would not wear a t-shirt under this if I was gonna button it up so it makes it look a little bigger. But you can see how roomy it still is being a size small. Um, I just thought that was, was really pretty. It would obviously look great, you know, tucked in with some denim, but I really actually liked the color. Here's the color on the sleeves and then you can see it does have the little bit darker. So the color is much prettier, I think, because it has that little bit of mustard yellow and the different greens. Um, it's much prettier on. All right, another pair of pants. These are a pair of joggers. I actually have them in another color to show you. These are so versatile and so comfortable. I am wearing a size small, I believe, yes. Um, here, that looks weird because you can see, totally see that. So this is the lighter color. It does have this um, piping down the front and they have a tie. What I love is you could totally wear these casual, but because they're kind of a little bit nicer looking with this, a little more fitted, you could totally wear them with a heel. And I'll show you that with the next pair. They are a little longer on me than I would like. Um, I'm probably going to hen them or um, tuck them under one cuff length. I feel like a lot of pants, I like that. So basically there's like a little bit of a hem here and I played with it earlier as far as like tucking it under one and it was a little more flattering. So I just really like these. Again, they're so comfortable. You could do so much with them, but I really liked the light color. And again, I'll show you the dark color as well. There's, um, yeah, there's little slip pockets back here. So this is the color of these. And I wish, there you go, if it focus, that is the color. So there is like a little bit of texture to them, but just a very pretty like oatmeal color. So here's the charcoal color. And again, this color in particular, I feel like you could totally dress up and wear to work depending on where you work. Uh, throw on like a nice fitted black sweater and a pair of heels or pumps and these would be great. So I think the length with a heel is very good. Again, if you're a little bit taller than me, you may even like it better because it would raise them up, you know, a few inches. But these are so comfortable and I love the fact that they're versatile with dressing them up or down. Um, of course, this isn't like necessarily a dressy outfit. I just threw this on so you can see with the shoes, um, but you could wear this with sneakers. Again, pair like a button up shirt with this, like in the same kind of tone is what I would do or fitted black cashmere sweater, black thin sweater. This actually is a sweatshirt that I love the color and I have two, two other colors. So this is that same sweatshirt that I had shown you back in the early spring, I think, that I got in the pink and blue. Well, I bought it in the lighter color gray, which I swear the lighter color gray does not seem as soft. And then I saw this in store, the darker charcoal kind of gray. So again, this is that same sweatshirt. I size up to a large in it. So I just threw this on so you could kind of see what it looked like, did a little front tuck. Um, I wore this actually to a doctor's office, not this one, but the pink one with some shorts. I did a little front tuck, roll up the sleeves, and it's totally doable this time of year even when it's still hot because this is a little bit thin, but you know, it's cold in a lot of offices. So 
um, again, this is kind of a tone on tone look that you could totally do, but love, love these pants. So these are those boots I was just telling you about. Um, if you remember, I showed you a pair in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but I didn't love them. They were a little too rounded toe. They were super comfortable, but I didn't end up returning them. I was looking for a lower heel black booty. Um, I saw these, actually was randomly searching for something else at Target. They actually have a lot of nice ankle boots right now and some that are very similar to the Vince Camuto and the, um, who was it, Mark Fisher. I'll list those below, um, but these I actually, and this comes like in a tan color too. I actually really like these. They have the zip on the inside. They actually have like a cute little button detail on the back. They do seem to be true to size. Um, you know, if I wore socks with them, I just threw them on right now without socks. They're a little big, but other than that, they do feel pretty comfortable. With a sock, they would be perfect, even like a little thin sock. So, I don't know, I'm really liking these. I think they're perfect. Uh, not too high, still pointed, so they look good, elongate the leg, and I love, again, like the shorter heel, and I just threw them on, I have that sweatshirt on, just threw it on with my jeans. So this sweater, I'm pretty sure they had last year, but I'm not positive. If it's not the exact same thing, it's very similar. So when I saw it this year, I decided to grab it because I liked it last year and just thought, you know, I don't need another sweater. Not that any of that just changed this year, but I always just liked the neutral color of it. This is a small, it's plenty roomy, but if you wanted it even bigger, longer, I would definitely size up. I just, you know, stuck it in my front pocket here a little bit. It does have this waistband down here. So that's what I always just do with all my shirts, t-shirts. I kind of just mess with them when they, you know, till they lay how I want them. So I just put it on with my jeans and some ankle booties. These are the ones from the anniversary sale. So this is totally how I would wear this outfit. And I really like this sweater. It's just so comfortable and soft. The neck does go up a little high. So again, if that bothers you, you might want to size up so it's not I don't know. I mean, it's not up way high, but I do notice it's, you know, slightly higher up on the neck. But um, I just rolled up the sleeves a little bit because that's how I like to do everything. Sweatshirts, sweaters, kind of give it a little more style. So this is what the colors of the sweater look like. And it comes in a ton of colors. So if you like the style, but you don't want this pattern, um, it actually comes in a lot of colors. All right, typical fall outfit here, plaid flannel shirt, jeans, and some ankle boots. More Can't get more simple. I did a little uh, front tuck here, but the shirt is um, plenty long for the most part. I'd maybe size up if you want to wear it with leggings. It's probably right at the borderline. This is the same one as that green one. It's just in a different print. There were several prints actually. There was actually I think a black plaid print that I thought was really pretty. I was hoping to see it in my store just for confirmation but they didn't have it. This actually looks different in person than it does online. It's a little more pink I would say in person like online it looks like it might be like coral and I feel like it's kind of shown up coral here. I'll spin around a minute so you can see what it looks like but um, I'm kind of undecided on this one. I do like it because it's different. Um, I'm just not sure about the color or something. I may have to work with a little bit. And I may have a cardigan that sometimes you know how that just pulls a shirt together if you have like a coordinating cardigan. There is a cardigan online that I saw that was like a rosy color. And I actually have one from last year that's a rose color that may look really good with this shirt. So again, here is what the color looks like. And I don't know if you can even tell from here how super soft, you know, if they, you can just tell, you know, by looking at the fabric that they're really soft. Again, thin, nice brushed flannel, but this is the color. It's kind of between like a terracotta and a rose color. By the way, this is what it looks like totally untucked. So you can see the length and the width on me. And again, I am wearing a size small. So this is definitely one of my favorite finds. I left it untucked for you um, so you could see, but I would not wear it just like this because it gives me absolutely no shape, makes me look a lot bigger. This is something I've seen year over year at Target and other retailers, and I always think I'm gonna get it and I don't. What I love about it, it's that tinsel material. I have a blue like chambray style shirt that's just like this, and I love that. 
this is kind of that same thing. I feel like it would go good in spring, summer, fall. You could wear it layered. Um, it does have the tab roll up sleeves, but of course you could undo those. Um, and I just like the neckline. I love how it drapes. I love that it's not too low when you have it buttoned. I don't like things that are too, um, too high button, but when you unbutton, they're like showing your bra and everything. This to me is like, it just lays perfect on the neckline. So this is again, how long it is. Uh, this is a size small. It does go up on the sides though. So depending, you know, I don't know that I would wear this with leggings. I just did a little front tuck again. That's exactly how I would wear it. Again, I would wear it layered with like a denim jacket, a faux leather jacket. You could put a cardigan with it. This shirt would also be great used as like a very lightweight jacket. So you could put like a striped long sleeve tee under it wear this open how I showed you the previous green one before and that would look great um, again I just kept it on with the uh, neutral color booty so you can see what the whole outfit would look like but again this is more how I would wear it but I'm really glad I picked this up I'm not sure if I mentioned it I may have this as a size small so you can see it is definitely uh, a roomy fit this sweater is so nice this is one of the items that I said I put in my email and it said notify me when it's back in stock and they did. I was lucky enough to try on um, a different color in store to know the size because it does run oversized. This is similar to the Madewell cardigan that I bought in the Nordstrom anniversary sale. The striped one, very, very similar. Maybe not quite as heavy, but it has the same feel to it. So if you didn't get that one, um, I would definitely look at these. They have several different colors, stripes. This is the rust color. I absolutely am into this color this year. And I wanted this color for a few different reasons. They have a few different cardigans with the rust color, but I actually liked this particular color. Some of it is a little more, I don't know, either I didn't like the cardigan itself or I didn't like the color. This is an extra small and it fits perfect. I could have probably went with an extra small in the made well, but I thought the small fit fine. Um, but this is perfect. Again, I did try on one real quick in store to know when I ordered this. This to me is just such a perfect rust color. It has great length to it. Um, let me show you the color. So it's almost like a marbled rust, if you can see that up close. It reminds me... Oh, I can't think the brand. One of the sweaters in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I actually ordered it, but it was a small, so I sent it back. It was too big, and then the extra small was never in stock. But it had like a big cowl neck, and it was beautiful, but I was surprised to see that one when I got it, that it was kind of like this marbled um, color too. And you really wouldn't even know until up close. And again, I was surprised with this one, but I think that just adds to it. I think it's really pretty. Again, super soft has these little side pockets here i had actually bought this shirt back in the spring you can see it has some orange and like rusty color and i didn't get to wear it i was going to possibly wear it on a cruise in the spring or wear it on a cruise in the fall well those both have been canceled um in the spring and summer i thought it's gonna look great with white jeans but you know what the other day i saw something similar that kind of inspired me i thought this may look good under this so don't be afraid to pick out your summer clothes even your sleeveless tops that maybe have this rust or an orange color in it and that way you can get use out of them still so i saw this dress in store but they only had a size small and i know most of the time in target dresses i wear extra small no matter the brand this was one of those again such pretty fall vibes but you could totally wear it now as is um, with heels and make it look good for that end of summer um, because of the sleeve length and all of that. You could even pair, like I have a bright pink belt and I put that next to it and that made it more summer, you know, if it's still warm where you live. But it has um, black and this pretty gold color, pink blushes. I threw on this belt with it just to kind of bring out some of the blush and ivory tones. You don't have to wear any belt with it. This is what it looks like, has an elastic waist, has this little bit of ruffle here. I did have to really steam this sucker well because it came super wrinkled. So to make the sleeves lay flat and all that. 
it is like a little bit smocked up here. You could totally wear this off your shoulder if you wanted um, that look. I just kind of like it up. It does have pockets. They actually lay really nicely. Don't add anything to the dress. It is lined. Um, it has this layer at the bottom. I just put it on with ankle boots because that's probably how I would wear it in the fall. It looks good with black heels. It looks good with nude heels. Um, and I will show you a couple of different ways how I would style it, but this is just the dress itself. Uh, just goes over the head, no buttons, no anything. So the easiest way to dress up anything in the fall or the spring, I feel like, is a denim jacket. They just go with everything. You totally need one. Um, I've had this one for years. They no longer make this exact one, but I will link a similar one. I think Old Navy has one. I've seen several stores that have similar. I have a darker wash a white wash and this one, this was definitely my most reached for. So basically, you just have this outfit then with the ankle boots, again, the belt, you don't have to wear the belt, um, and throw a jean jacket over your shoulders or actually put it on, you could even put on a hat, and there you go, simple uh, fall outfit. Another way, of course, easy, dress something up, give it a little warmth, is throw on a cardigan, especially if you need this to wear to work. Um, you know, teachers, office, this would be great. Just any kind of cardigan in a similar color. You could even see if like a navy or a gold, even though this looks black, I think you could possibly get away with a deep navy or even like a blazer possibly in a navy might look good. So anyway, this is just what I had and I thought I would throw on with it. And again, you could change up the shoes. You could leave uh, the booties because that definitely makes it fall or wear it with like a heel or a pump. So these are the colors of the dress. It's definitely a black, but I feel like when it's next to that gold, it almost gives off a navy vibe. Um, again, the bright pink, kind of blush. Just a lot of really pretty colors in here. And again, the main thing being that rust color, which I absolutely love. It's so comfortable. This is just a really nice dress. Let me know what your favorites were down below. And as always, I will have everything linked and listed below with sizing. If I talked about anything specifically that goes with it or recommendations, I will put those um, in the info box as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you're not yet subscribed, please do so. I make new videos all the time. I'd love to have you back. Hope you all are well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.